hello welcome back to my channel I just wanted to let you know before you start watching this video if you are a regular there is a change of plan the creative video is now going to be on Friday and the vlog I had planned for Friday is today so I hope you enjoy today's vlog thanks so much for watching good morning good morning oh hi Aid. hello well, um, who else is going to be here <laughs> I'm just starting a weekend vlog. <laughs> worried if somebody else. But it's nearly lunchtime on Saturday. It's half eleven. I am so tired. People always say to me about, oh, you're so positive and bubbly all the time. I'm really not, am I? No, you're miserable. <laughs> I'm really, really <laughs> tired today. Um, we've just done a post run. Got rid of loads of stuff. I had a few orders come up over the last day or so. So I've cleared all them today. And it's Eurovision tonight. Aid loves Eurovision. It's his night, his one night of the year, and we always have a cheese fondue. A cheese fondue. We need to get some bread. We do. We're going to pop into co op because we really don't like the bread in Waitrose, and we have a little co op in the village. Well, some bread is nice, I think it's very overpriced. It's very overpriced, but it's a bit hit and miss. Yeah, it tends to be baked it. Yeah, they don't always bake it properly, and you get that like line of thick Stodgy dough, dough in the middle. Let's go. Um, so we're going to pop into co-op and see what we can find but this vlog is going to be Eurovision it's going to be food and lots of trip planning we've got a serious amount of trip planning I feel like I've fallen behind but I've just finished kit packing and I am shattered 10 pounds should we get one to uh, put in the yes. front I quite like this basket from, yeah. as well actually should we get that one then that do you think oh, all the yellow I quite like this one actually the middle one yeah yeah go on then we ended up, I got one bread roll for my lunch, seeded roll. I've been fancying bread all week. We're trying to be low carb at the moment. Yeah. Um, we're trying to be fit for really Florida. Really screwed tonight though. What with our <laughs> cheese fondue. And we got a Parisian baguette for 95p and that basket to hang up. 10 pounds, I'm really yeah. impressed with that. They had some really nice things in there. They're really nice metal buckets with flowers mm. and that. So we're gonna go home, drop the flowers off. Go for Starbucks. We're gonna go to Starbucks. We haven't done our Starbucks fix for ages, actually. No, it's we haven't. It's been a few weeks, We haven't, it? actually. Well, the last time we had coffee was when we went to your friends, when we saw Lisa, Cheryl, and Ian. Really? That's that we the went last out time for we went out for coffee, yeah. Mm, obviously, we have coffee at home all the and time. And I think also, maybe on the way back, we'll pop, yeah, we'll pop to Waitrose. I'd like to get to some, I want to get the compost. You can do that on your own. Okay. I, I really don't want to go to Waitrose. All depends if it rains, though. If it rains, yeah. I'm not going out and doing the garden. Okay. Do you agree? Mm. Um, big pointless. I think it's going to rain tomorrow as well. So right, we've just arrived at our little Starbucks, and it looks a bit busy. We were hoping it wouldn't be too busy, but it is lunchtime. Going to see if we can find enough space to do trip planning. Okay, go on then. What are we looking for? San Francisco. It is San Francisco. It's kind yeah. of there. Does it do that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So we're planning our first day. We kind of know what we want to do, but we're just having a look exactly how far things are away yeah. from each other. So one of the most important things when we're planning a trip, food, food yeah. we just we're look at the most important. The most important. Our whole plan, our yeah. trip, is planned around food. We're currently looking at menus in for places at the ferry building in San Francisco. I've got to show you this menu. How girls so kick. It's all about the grilled cheese. Do you want to have a zoom down? And down, the other way, sorry. Oh, wow. Yeah. Warm yeah. the hearty baked egg sandwich. It just looks so sugar good. And ham. Look at that. Brown sugar kitchen. Does anyone else love chicken and waffles? We're back home. Aid wants to do some gardening. We've just picked up some compost and some herbs from Waitrose, and naturally, it's pouring with rain. This is how Aid has to do my lights in my studio. Because what's wrong with the lights, Aid? They're broken. They're broken. So every day, I start the day with one bulb. They used to be all... Eight. Eight. <laughs> how many do I have that work now? Yay! Two. Got light. So how many are actually on now? Two. Two. So it's electric. But, I would actually say we've actually changed all the ballasts in them. They worked for a short while and then they stopped. But bearing in mind what they've been up here 15 years, we do need to change to LED panels. I know we do. Um, so, is that on the list for this month? No. Why not? I can't be bothered. But um, we were driving home from Waitrose, pouring with rain, and I text Louis. Louis was going into school this afternoon. 
and um, they're doing some drama rehearsals and he was on his way so we passed him picked him up dropped him off at school um so aid's going out in the rain and my job is to tidy this studio it's really really bad that's what happens after kit packing i've just thrown everything in here and i am so tired it's 20 to 3 i think i'm going to do a dirty 30. ever done a dirty 30? I'm going to try and get everything done within 30 minutes and my way of doing it I'm going to put something on YouTube a good lengthy video I think that's going to last me I am going to light a candle in here and I'm just going to stick my phone and everything out in the other room so I don't get disturbed and just blitz try and get it done as quickly as possible that's the plan we did have a really good planning session in um, Starbucks we have got the full San Francisco itinerary done now I'm really really pleased have you been to San Francisco before no. I have but in 1996 um, no, I, haven't. I know you haven't the kids I'm haven't been me. no I'm not talking to you I'm sorry. Um, I know you haven't been anyway so we're just kind of wanting to see everything in two days we're staying in walking distance of Fisherman's Wharf and we're really really excited we kind of did have a rough plan but now we've actually kind of turned it around the other way we've knocked some things off added some other things and most important we've chosen where we want to eat because that's always the number one thing uh, we have a picky eater Aid and I will eat anything except for broad beans and what's those green things Aid what do we not eat what do we not eat? Avocados. Avocados. I couldn't remember. Oh. That's the one food neither of us like. Avocados. Like soap. Yeah, it's like eating soap. Um, like like bars soap. of soap, not like hand squirty soap from the kitchen. So, um, yeah, we found somewhere that does really, really nice food. Chili cheese fries for me. Burgers for the boys. And they do proper vegan and veggie burgers, but really nice ones when they actually look like a proper burger but they have a vegan or a vegetarian patty inside. So Holly is over the moon. And there's also just so many cute places where well, we're going in the ferry building for lunch. Looks lovely and um, just really cute. Vegan donuts are there. There's just everything there. So we should all get something. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna get on with my dirty 30 now. So many bloody boxes. Look at them all. My chosen candle is the green tea leaves. This is from one of the D w home candles from tk maxx and home bargains and i just love this one it's fresh it's light and it just fills the room i love it so much And 25 minutes in and I've cleared loads away I've got papers masses of papers there in the corner the left hand corner um, which I have been collecting they are all left over from previous kits but what I do twice a year I do what I call bargain boxes and I theme up um, five or six different themes and they are literally bargain boxes and I kind of put together loads of different boxes for £8.99 including delivery and I whack them on the site um, and do a massive sale and just try and shift loads of stock so what I always do because the boxes often sell out really really fast especially like there's always two or three really popular themes so I let the um my vip members my chat group members get first dibs so i always announce the bargain box sale first within the chat group 
I'll link up that below. You don't have to receive the kits to be a member. Anyone is welcome. It's totally free. So have a look for the Lollipop chat group. Link below. Go and join and then I will let you lot know first when the bargain boxes are ready. I am planning on doing a sale next month in June. I feel so much happier now all that's tidy and I'm now going to get on and edit Monday's video. Are you having a nice time? Wonderful. What are you doing? Plants have been potted. Yeah. We've got plants, we've got blueberries, mint and thyme. Okay. The baskets up, I've done some trimming out the back, filled up the green bin and about to try and get rid of some rubbish. I probably didn't hear any of that on here. Did you not? Why have you got Brazil on your t-shirt? Brazil. Not Brazil? No, not Brazil. Not Brazil. Okay. You want some toast? Yes, please. Mama and toast would be lovely two pieces. Okay. I am so happy I finished work. What time is it now? It's uh, 25 to 7. Yay! I have got so much done. I've done my cleaning. I've done loads of admin. I've edited Monday's video. It's scheduled. I've got the blog ready for Monday as well. I've just done loads. I'm really happy. Got some bits ordered for the June kit that I still needed to do. So all in all good. Louis's still at school so we're going to pick him up and we're going to be getting our fondue ready soon as well. We're just walking Poppy, were you going to say something? No, no, I oh, didn't okay. say anything. Okay, no, it's been, you had a productive, you've been doing your gardening. Yeah. It's got all these pots planted. And you're clearing some stuff out in the garden as well, cutting Yay. some stuff back. Babe, are you excited? I am, yes. I can't see you. you where am I? You're behind oh, no, me. I can just see you. It's the only time of year when I become a sous chef. We are getting ready for Eurovision. The fondue is being created. Aid's busy rubbing the garlic in the doodah. Um, what's what's my job? Is? No. No. Oh. What's my job? You need to cut some bread. I'm gonna cut some bread. Um, you need to grab some cheese in a moment. Some cheese. I'm gonna warm this wine up. Because you're in charge of the fondue, aren't you? Babe, who million. do you reckon's gonna win tonight? Um, I'd like to say United Kingdom, but I very much doubt it because no one likes us. No. In your revision, anyway. Have you noticed what I put on today? Oh yeah. My French t-shirt. Yeah, French. I'm not rooting for France, but I just that was the only only kind of Eurovision-y type t-shirt I had. This fondue is not very alcoholic. Got my wine. Ah, my wine. I nearly spilled my wine. I haven't got much left. Is that going in? Is that going in the fondue? didn't put any wine in hers last week did she it was a good fondue though there you go that's what's left mm. so probably two thirds of a bottle of wine cheers go. babe right so your wines i was gonna say your wine's melted your my wine's heated and now you're adding what cheese have you got emmental yeah is that the holy one and gruyere what i don't know if i pronounce it right there i don't know how do you pronounce that anyone anyone know. know i wasn't asking you that's the one we know which is quite a it. strong, it's a strong cheese, but yeah. it's a um, really nice flavour, it distinct flavour. cheese. You'll keep stirring it though. You'll be good at that, you're good at stirring. Um, I've got the corn flour at ready. The biggest to, stirrer I know. I need to add some, yeah, all right. I've got this lovely pork ring. Nice bit of pork, that looks really nice. Do you want me to chop that up, babe? Yes, please. He's tried the chorizo ring and he's really upset because his ring was spicy. You didn't like it so much, did you, love? What's wrong? You. Well, I didn't find it spicy at all. I didn't even feel any warmth. But you're quite delicate in that area, aren't you, babe? Yes, I am. All right. And if there wasn't enough alcohol in it already, you've just added vodka as well. Hmm. Have you got your notepad? Yeah. We're keeping it simple this year. Last year we had too many choices. So this year we're just going with bread, grapes, chorizo, and the cheese fondue. And... It's already started. What year? What country is this one, baby? Malta. Malta. <laughs> She's 18. Is she? Yeah. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. We're going to do a cheers. 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 Happy Eurovision. Happy Eurovision. Happy Eurovision. Have you got your notepad ready to yeah. make your notes? Go on then, Aid. Coat it in there. Lovely. My tablecloth, by the way, was bought in Turkey before I had the kids. So probably about 21, 22 years ago. And cost me a pound. I think this Denmark song's my favorite so far. What do you think? Mm, yeah, it's quite, it's quite sweet, isn't it? 
Oh, it's somebody else. Yeah, quite like Sweden's. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Do you think that over Denmark? I think this is my new favourite. Mm, I think we'll both be. Yeah. She looks so cute there, doesn't she? Yeah. Poppy, Poppy wants some. Poppy, you want some fondue? Oh, where's your cheek? Look, Poppy needs a stick. She won't go for it. Oh, <laughs> did she sneeze on your no. cheese? Here's United Kingdom. He was really cute, do you agree? Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely my favourite so far. Really enjoyed that. We stopped filming last night, um, we kind of had a bit of enough, the judging was all really naff and obviously the UK did really, really rubbish. I felt really sorry for the guy, um, he did really well but it's just very political isn't it? But Aid insists on watching it every single year, he loves it. I don't know if he loves it quite so much now, it just gets worse each year. But anyway, it was a nice evening, it was nice to have an evening off and spend some time together and the cheese fondue was lovely. Really hope that you've enjoyed today's video, thank you very much for watching, please subscribe if you are new, please like my channel and give it a thumbs up, it really really does help my channel and I really appreciate it. You can also find me over on Instagram, I am the Funky Fairy for my personal account and lollipop box club for my business crafty stuff thank you so much for watching i've got the creative video coming up on friday it's a disney mini book and then disney is on saturday for you i hope you look forward to those take care bye